Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. This is gonna be a quick check-in, so I'm gonna get right to it. And I'm gonna start with an oracle deck. Today is the Spirit Junkie Oracle from Gabby Bernstein. Let's see what we have for Divine Feminines first of all. Alright, so today I consciously choose to think loving thoughts, take compassionate actions, and bring forth peaceful energy. This is a beautiful combination of a yin and yang energy that comes from loving thoughts, right? It creates peace, but also encourages you to take compassionate actions. I love that garden too. It immediately calls me uh, to the message that uh, it's advisable to spend some time in nature or to give gifts to nature or maybe at least if you have some home plans, uh, you know, spend some time with them and communicate in some way, whatever way you have. And for the masculines, owning my power inspires others to do the same. I'm not afraid to shine. Beautiful, very empowering, very courageous. This is about self-worth. This is about not letting any of the past um, failures or somebody telling you um, to do something and not to do something. You're like, this is not for you. Like, no, like you better do ABC because you're good at that, right? Like those thoughts, they get under our skin. They get into our brain. And before we know it, they start programming us to do certain things and not to do certain things. So this is like removing that so you can truly shine with what you have to give. Okay, let's see what we have is tarot. Bottom of the deck, three of swords. <sighs> yeah, so I'm sensing that things actually revisiting old heartaches and some of them are pretty old, so it's not like they're fresh, it's not like hurt as much, but they definitely bring up some very specific memories. And for I'm hearing that for feminines, that includes actions that were not necessarily compassionate, like the way they reacted to the pain. And for masculines, it uh, put a demon on their power and they didn't feel as strong as masculine as potent. As they could have yeah ten of ones you see so there's like that oppression energy uh connected with the with those past heartaches but right now twins actually like the reason this is brought up is the twins are realizing of how much of the connection it was between the two and they're like um no that's that stops now <laughs> not happening anymore this was a bunch of bs so like this really was just that one person that said that and you know what i'm putting that behind me and sometimes it's all it takes to be very conscious about that realization about that thought and about that decision feminines you have eight of coins clarified by ten of cups so this is like putting in the work towards happier future and it is something very practical it doesn't have to be a job right maybe I don't know, you're doing something for a home, some DIY project, for example, and you know it's important for you to create a happy home, right? But whatever it is, you're meticulous with it, you're paying attention to details, you're doing your research, and that's the way to do it. Essentially, uh, you'll feel happy because you'll know that it's yours, like you're making it yours, not just relying on some expert, quote unquote, telling you like, this is supposed to be this way, or not on like a team of contractors do it for you and make all the decisions. No, you're taking charge in that. For masculines, we see you know, ones clarified by the lovers. So masculines are stepping into their shamanic, powerful self. And that's what we saw actually here with the Oracle card. Love is the, um, I love this, this part of the after terror, this is the after terror deck where they actually uh, sharing that apple. <laughs> So, and, and this is telling me that the masculines are not just seeing the potential, they're seeing some magic happening, even if it's energetic, even if it's telepathic, right? This is like their hope and inspiration. It warms up their heart and 
that allows magically to bring out their courage and power, right? We are, again, we used to think that, you know, love makes us weak or, you know, emotional, that it's actually all that sensitivity and emotionality is like the opposite of strength and energy. But here, uh, masculines are witnessing the opposite. And of course, that's one of the ways that masculines avoid being in touch with their feelings, being sensitive, being expressive, right? But this is now how they see the connection between the two. And they embrace feelings and emotions. They embrace the sensitivity and uh, the heart connection, right? That's what helps the heart to awaken and for them to be more uh, connected and to listen more to their heart. Additional question, three of ones clarified by death. Ooh, there's something that comes in this cycle. This to me is about the new moon energy that we just experienced that causes huge transformations. Like some area of life is just going to transform like that, 180 degrees. For feminines, we see two of ones and the devil, some sort of addiction, some sort of bad habit. It's something big I'm hearing where you always make a safe choice when you used to at least. Uh, not to have to worry about something too much, right? And not to expose yourself. Right? Like, no, 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 this is too much pressure. I'm going to go with the safe way. There's no more safe way. That's going away. And what I'm hearing is that you'll like it so much, do it differently, that uh, you'll almost like be provoking yourself and the audience to something extraordinary, to something unusual. You know, like, well, you haven't seen that before, right? <clears throat> uh, that's funny <laughs> and for masculines we see page of coins with four of coins so look at that another death card yeah so masculines are putting aside their mm, guard and this is to be kind to be able to kind of more openly give and receive without thinking about it too much up front without uh, thinking like oh well uh, but I can't give everything of myself because you know, I'll have nothing to keep or, you know, this person is just going to use me and leave. And what am I going to stay with? Something along those lines, right? So this is, but I'm getting all the OVC pentacles here. Again, this doesn't have to be money. For somebody, it might be. Uh, but for others, it's more like uh, attention and time and, you know, energy, essentially, right? Like uh, opening up, basically. Like by giving energy you are making an offer into a person right and so this closed up energy the stingy energy was the energy <laughs> energy was the energy the stingy energy is going away and then the cycle masculines are becoming a lot more open because they feel more secure and safe and that's how it then manifests into their behavior how the feminines feeling about masculines right now how they see them six of coins clarified by two of cups beautiful beautiful this is that uh, fairy tale energy you know with the equal give and take uh and somebody is like yeah you see like somebody is putting like right now the scales are not equal but somebody is making an effort so they see masculines making an effort to want to have like equal give and take to be equal partners so it's not just the feminines being invested and doing the work and being open-hearted and offering love. They see the masculines are making effort as well with this happy ending concept in mind. Even if they're not successful yet, you see like the scales are not equal just yet. They're not balanced, sorry, just yet, but it's happening. They're making progress. That's what the feminines can see. Masculines towards feminines, the magician and knight of swords, but this is like slaying the dragon card. So they see how much more the feminines are becoming in sync and in touch with their inner strengths and giftings, right? How they don't want to uh, be too concerned about what somebody's thinking. They also don't want to be too concerned with somebody coming along uh, to meet them halfway or not, right? Like, they're like, okay, you know, I'm too busy for that stuff. Like, I've got like serious things happening here. I'm creating my own reality. I don't have time for like whoever, you know, is too shy, is too closed off to talk to me, to ask me out, to, you know, be together, like, whatever. <laughs> you know, I have much bigger fish to fry kind of energy. Oh, I love this. 
really cool and it looks like as we are in mercury retrograde it's actually bringing out more ideas and more opportunities for uh working on yourself and that's that's how it's supposed to be right and that helps you define how you then want to communicate with others because when mercury goes direct in the first of jan then it will open up the doors and the gateway and of course the new year's energy to invite people into your life to connect on a deeper level on a more authentic level too and it looks like twins are getting ready for that okay i'm gonna leave it here i love you guys thank you so much for joining me today hope this message was useful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe the video and in the meantime